This tutorial will show you how to sideload Android apps onto your Amazon Fire TV. The first step is to enable ADB debugging. So go to settings, to system, and go down to developer options and enable ADB debugging. Now press back. Now we're going to get the IP address. Go to about, to network, and write down the IP address. In this example it's 192.168.1.16. You're going to need this number for later. Alright, so now we're going to jump over to our computer and open up a browser and go to siloadfiretv.com and hit on the Windows tutorial. And we're just going to scroll down since we've completed some of these steps already. Go to Setup ADB for Windows and download the ADB setup file uh, by clicking on this link here. And I've already downloaded it to my desktop, so I'm just going to open it now. Okay, so we're going to install ADB and Fastboot. So just uh, hit Y and hit Enter. Hit Y and hit Enter again. And hit Y and Enter one more time. And now we're going to be prompted with a uh, driver installation wizard. Um, just go through with the setup. And that was really quick because I've already installed it, but usually it will take a little longer. Okay, now we're going to open up Command Prompt. Um, I'm using Windows 8, so I'm just going to use the search function. But um, all versions of Windows uh, should have Command Prompt. So now that that's open, type in ADB space connect space the fire tv's ip address and that's uh what we got in the previous steps so mine was 192.168.1.16 and just hit enter okay and now i'm connected to the fire tv so now we're going to type in adb install and now you're going to type in the file path of the APK file so my APK files on the desktop I'm in installing a uh, Super Nintendo emulator so to easily find the file path just right click the file and hit properties and here's the file path right here under the location field or next to the location field Okay, so I'm just going to type that in. And at the end of that, type in the file name. So I'm just going to put a backslash and type in that file name. That's this file name right here. Alright, so now I'm going to hit enter. And this process will take a little longer uh, depending on the file size. It'll be stuck on the screen until uh, the file is actually installed. So uh, because this file is just under 2 megabytes, it didn't take that long to install. But if you're installing something like XBMC, that's a 50 megabyte file. So that actually takes about 5 minutes to install. Um, you could uh find APK files all over the web um and also siloedfiretv.com does have a few APK files to download so there we go uh, I just installed the Super Nintendo emulator to my Fire TV so thank you for watching